He wanted to create panic and chaos. Federal prosecutors say Rondell Henry intended to use a stolen U-Haul truck to commit mass murder in the name of ISIS, saying, quote, I was just going to keep driving and driving and driving. I wasn't going to stop. All of these entities together have prevented pointless violence. This is how the system produces results for the people. Henry was arrested last month at the National Harbor, where prosecutors say he was waiting to plow through a crowd of people. It comes less than two months after a Coast Guard lieutenant living in Silver Spring was arrested and accused of planning a mass killing of prominent Democratic politicians and journalists. It's intended to get an emotional response from us, and we should not let it. William Braniff is the director of a terrorism research center based out of the University of Maryland. He says even with two incidents foiled in Maryland this year, it's very rare compared to other countries. There are, there are uh, unfortunately, too many of these acts of violence around the world. And um, that being said, we, we shouldn't let them uh, intimidate us. Uh, they, they are very rare in this country and we are very well protected. He does say though that research shows an uptick in terrorism in the U.S. in 2017. He says can be attributed to multiple factors. We have a sustained level of uh, propaganda online encouraging violence from the so-called Islamic State. We also have a rise of uh, incidents of right-wing extremism in the United States over the last couple of years. But at the same time, we have a law enforcement community that's getting better and better about disrupting these threats. In Baltimore, Abby Isaacs, WMAR2 News. Henry is charged with moving a stolen car over state lines and prosecutors filed a motion arguing that he should be detained until his trial, saying he's a flight risk, he's a danger to the community. A judge will decide that tomorrow at a hearing.